Well, every fall I take some time to look for new Christmas music that I might be able to share with my congregation. And this fall I came across a hymn uh, that I never heard before. It's called Let All Mortal Flesh Keep Silence. And instantly fell in love with the haunting melody and the just beautiful lyrics. And so I wanted to share just a few reflections from this hymn. Let me read the lyrics for us. It says, Let all mortal flesh keep silence, and with fear and trembling stand. Ponder nothing earthly minded, for with blessing in his hand, Christ our God to earth descended, with our homage to command. King of kings, yet born of Mary, as of old on earth he stood, Lord of lords in human likeness, in the body and the blood. He will give to all the faithful his own self for heavenly food. Rank on rank, the host of heaven spreads its vanguard on the way, as the light from light descending from the realms of endless day comes the powers of hell to vanquish as the darkness clears away. At his feet, the six-winged seraph, cherubim with sleepless eye, veil their face to the presence, as with ceaseless voice they cry, Alleluia, 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 Lord Most High. These lyrics just ooze with reverence and majesty. It calls us to reflect in awe and wonder at the idea that God himself would come down from heaven to take the form of a human and to live among us. It calls us to sing Alleluia like the angels do. So first, this idea of fear and trembling. We'd be hard-pressed to find many modern worship songs that use the words fear and trembling in them. But they communicate that that God is worthy of our reverence. Psalm 33, 8 says, Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the people of the world revere him. That we should show God high regard and understand his power. I like what Charles Spurgeon said. He said, It is not possible that mortal men should be thoroughly conscious of the divine presence without being filled with awe. That the thought of God should fill us with awe of who he is and what he has done for us. That Jesus himself is worthy of such awe. So why should mortal flesh keep silence? Why should we, with fear and trembling, stand before God? Well, the lyrics say this. First, that Christ came with blessing in his hand. Ephesians 1 tells us that blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. And as you read on in that passage, it just tells all of these wonderful truths that we have received in Christ. Christ came to give of himself as heavenly food. In John 6, 35, Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. He came to offer himself, his own life, to die that we might have life in him. Christ came to vanquish the powers of hell and clear away darkness. In Colossians 1, we're reminded by Paul that he has rescued us from the domain of darkness and has transferred us into his kingdom. That because of what Christ did, we no longer have to walk in sin and darkness, but we can walk in a new pattern of living. To walk in his kingdom. And lastly, we see an example of of the angels who hide their faces and sing Alleluia because they know and understand who God is, that he is worthy of such praise. So, in conclusion, how do we respond to these lyrics as we read them? In the midst of 
a Christmas season that is often filled with busyness, just the chaos of planning and family, will we take time to pause and reflect, to ponder the gravity of what Christ came to do? Will we show Jesus reverence and the respect that he's due? Will we join in response and worship with the angels singing Alleluia to our Lord? I encourage you, if you haven't done so, as Christmas approaches, to take some time to sit in silence and to meditate upon what Christ did for you, what Christ did for me, that he would come, take the form of, of man, to live and walk among us, to die upon a cross, that we may be rescued from sin and have life with him. Merry Christmas.